and go now the spaces between us will grow and fall now everybody and welcome back to yet another vlog of the Liz Wall Tour in this latest vlog I'll probably be talking a little bit about Frankfurt and um, I still have a lot of footage about the Belgium classics I think you saw the time I went for my, some medical checkups um, the latest vlog with uh, Alex is, which is our team videographer, really a great friend that I've made um, on the road. Um, and then before we start, I would like to address um, a comment that was made on my YouTube channel. And obviously, you know, when you start a YouTube channel, you get a lot of good, bad comments, and you have to be very rational about it. Um, and obviously, you don't need to necessarily respond to all bad comments or give explanation to them because you do get a lot of trolls as well, or some comments which are which you might not like might actually be true however one comment I found a little bit sad and pathetic um, was a comment where someone asked me um, said something like I'm always full of excuses and what results have I actually ever gotten first of all I didn't see someone's misfit fortune as excuse when someone gets injured have an illness or is struggling with something in life and you want to see it as an excuse that's your opinion um, but I don't think I don't take that lightly especially when it comes to someone's health because I've seen our cyclists have been influenced with bad health and the sadness it has bring to them and to their families and in terms of being successful to, to really to be honest um, I've gone through a really bad childhood where my mom has been an alcoholic, I managed to get picked up by my grandparents who really educated me well, learned me good manners, learned me how to, to think and make decisions throughout my life which was really crucial. Uh, I managed to get into university, um, I studied two years law at the university and later I sacrificed all that to, to take on this journey of life which is called cycling. So I've had a lot of ups and downs with uh, operations in both my jaws, really bad teeth, um, about, probably have about six root canals as well now, my teeth have really affected mouth as well, I've gone through Epstein bar, I've gone through fungal esophagitis, I've gone through a really traumatic hip dislocation, um, I've gone through both my collarbones being broken and at the end of the day I'm still fucking going, I'm still giving it my best and look where I am now and in respect this whole journey that I've walked, I believe everything has happened for, for a reason. All the good, all the bad, I really appreciated it because it changed me as a human being. You know, um, all the bad misfortune that happened actually turned out to be something good because it put me on the path that I'm on today. Um, and in a way, it got, I ended up meeting the most beautiful wife ever and for that I'm really fortunate. I've gone through all the small amateur teams, I've gone through a continental team and finally I've made it onto the world tour and I've been riding, I went really well in 2018 and unfortunately 2019 started with a few mishaps but my team is still happy with me and I'm still doing my job as a domestic and working my way up in the hierarchy and maybe I won't be good enough to, to win races, maybe I'll only be good enough to be a domestic or breakaway rider but in respect to that, I'm really happy about the road I've taken and how far I've come. So if that's maybe an answer to the question that you've posted asking me, um, I've, I'm always full of excuses and that what results have I achieved? Um, like I told you, I'm more content. The path that I've taken, the path that I've ended up, and I really believe everything in life, whether good or bad, happens for a reason. Okay, I think I've addressed that now and to be honest, really, I'm just here to share my life story with you. This is why I make the vlogs, I enjoy them and, in, and I enjoy sharing experiences with you. I'm not a coach, I'm not a doctor, I'm simply an athlete, but I'm fortunate enough in the sense that I learn from the best in the world and I'm able to share that experience with you. I still have a lot of ideas for vlogs, I know they seem a little bit boring right now, um, but they'll come when I have a bit more time, maybe in June, July, um, when it's a bit more quiet. However, it's been crazy and like, like for those that have followed my journey, it's been incredibly busy 
and I've actually <laughs> just been going with the flow, riding the waves up and down through the bad and the good and now I'm taking a week off the bike, building up and hoping that the rest of the season will go really well. Anyway guys, sorry for boiling with that. Please remember that you should always start promoting what you love and stop bashing what you hate. Frankfurt, um, the pace was on from the start. Niels wanted a heart race so we started smashing it already on the first climb. So I was on domestic duties. I gave my best for the team and in return they did really well. Unfortunately we only ended up in ninth place but uh, it could have been better. Um, you know these sprints are always chaotic and anything can happen in them. So yeah, we had a really good race and I'm always super motivated when I ride with leaders like Marco Haller and Niels Pollett and especially guys like Reto and Rico Bataglin. Um, they're really inspiring guys and they really motivate me to give my best to the team as well as Eric Zaba and Jose Acevedo that were there. Um, they're great athletes in their own way but they're also great directors, sportifs and bosses and they've got a lot of experience to share and I'm really happy to be learning from them on this journey. So enjoy! Monday as you make a trip in a rush. Packs are really quite useful because you can always pack a nice meal and you really immediately discard of the packet or bowl if you want to call it a bowl. Waiting for my bag here and obviously should arrive soon and bicycle because I'm heading back to South Africa after Frankfurt for a bit. So hey great to have my bag only a bike bag too get more Here we go okay finally my hotel room here yeah? and uh gonna wait for some of the other guys before i go try Buses are all the way down there, as you can see, people, mechanics, hard at work. Um, just arrived here about four or five hours later from Valencia, and I actually live about 20 minutes from the airport. So imagine guys that live two, three hours from the airport, how long their days are uh, traveling to races the day before. It's one thing you also have to consider when being a professional bike rider is that uh, you always just see what we do on the bike, but uh, you never see how much we travel and how much the traveling takes out of the riders. Um, but it's the same for everyone. Um, no one has it easy. Anyway, I think uh, Reto will be my roommate. And yeah, look forward to racing with the guys here in uh, Frankfurt. It's got a good team and I hope we'll be able to do something special to tomorrow. Um, but however, the moment will be short-lived um, because I'm traveling to South Africa directly after the race. Direct flight, 10 hours, boom, palm, back in Joburg, uh, Pretoria, back in the Wild West. And you never know what happens there, but look forward to seeing family, friends and working hard on the bike and getting back into good shape. Okay, so because don't know Frankfurt that well. I have created a Strava route for us, for me and Nariko. The others are arriving a little bit later. And this is the easiest way to find ourselves around Frankfurt and not end up on highways or roads that you're not legally allowed to ride on. And 
gonna head down to the bus, uh, grab my helmet and all those stuff and we'll be off for a ride. It's really sunny outside, as you can see. And uh, found myself on the bus again. Um, recap, as usual, so everyone's bags or we're doing the race. I don't know, I'm not gonna, I don't know who's gonna dip these seats. That's always quite funny. And uh, as you know by now, no one really sits at the back except Rick. He sits yeah, somewhere, I guess, sometimes. Anyway, team radios, you normally just charge them, yeah, because they need to be charged. Showers, I wonder. As always, and yeah, all your towels, hair dryers, all that stuff. If you wanna make yourself, and make yourself look good. It's in here some chamois cream, so your ass doesn't hurt too much. Usual, all the bars here, gels, bars, whatever you need. What else would you like to see down here? Oh, cookies. Oh, I don't think that's for us. Coffee. If you want it. Some Katusha coffee. Oh, and my brand new shoes. Thank you, CD, for the love. summer shoe and uh, I specifically asked them to make the holes as far back possible because I have been I'm too scared to say I've been struggling with new problems because I saw a comment earlier which said I'm full of excuses hmm. so almost uh, almost at the top of the only climb of the day <coughs> Like kind of half an hour <laughs> to get to the top so I'm pretty sure Enrico is not very happy anyways I don't know so uh, pretty cool up here you can see on my graph there nearly at the top it's like all the way down your home very quick and uh, legs up for the race beautiful day here Frankfurt Nice quiet roads here, probably a bit more busy ahead and uh, looking forward to the downhill. So I just put in my earphones here, yeah? I guess uh, Enrico took the flat road back, <laughs> so I won't be seeing him. We won't be seeing him. Just like, just like like this, oh. you go in like this, and then you make like this. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Because then this shirt's getting shorter and this getting longer. And your phone before the stage, come on, you need to focus. Yeah. I am so no reto, come on, man. <laughs> you have to, you ready for today, though? Of course, why not? I hope we, beautiful I hope we win. Huh? It's a beautiful day outside. You have judo on your mind. <laughs> you have judo yeah, on your maybe. mind. <laughs> That'll be a good day. I have to pack all my stuff as well. 
sleeping necessities. Yeah, man, I hope we have everything. If we forgot it, we are, it's over. Okay, you always stress that you forget something in these hotels because we move around so much. Let me just check here on the bathroom. Most common thing to forget is your shaving thing. Okay. Okay, had a good breakfast. It's almost about 25 minutes past 10 and uh, we should be in time. I really don't want to ever be late. This jacket is actually cool. Yeah, it is nice. But for what do you think would be best to wear it? Thank you. Hey, how are you? Fine, you? <laughs> Yeah, fairly good weather. Don't even need an undervest today, huh? Sixty-five days a year, Pasto. It's also hard. Huh? It's so, really hard. So sometimes you, you need, sometimes you need rice or polenta. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Base plan uh, should be that uh, Nils is our leader today uh, to to go with a small group between kilometer one hundred and eight. More or less, uh, my question is to Billy, Marco, and Ruben to cover a little bit the first 50. Uh, what, what do I mean? Uh, I would like that you surf in the first part of the bunch and when groups more than eight are go, would be perfect that we can sit in. The legs, uh, it's, I know it's hard because this, this climbs, especially the steep one, the Mammolzheiner is hard. But if you can uh, still uh, be there, uh, we count on your sprint then. Yes, he was, uh, he was always in the, the yeah. past. The so I think for a liquid is 45 kilometers at the final, it's, it's no problem. Wonderful. We do four times uh, this the, climb, yeah. you see it very soon. Uh, yeah. Rico, you climb her better than, than yeah, yeah, yeah. you climb her better than the older sprint. Yeah. So if they go full gas, they're going to drop and you're not. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sometimes we are with television 10, 15 seconds, seconds behind because of the signal so that's why I, I just ask you if you feel good if you are there in the, in the right situation talk to each other or Nils if you see something say go or uh, wait whatever this is important and then also in the sprint uh, don't count the, <coughs> it's a bunch sprint he's playing the music <laughs> Okay, so stage almost starts, 187 kilometers, 3,200 meters of climbing, good music here on the bus and uh, we are almost ready to leave. Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt Gonna go far, man, listen to my words Gonna be a star, man, life's like a blur When you're working this hard, yeah, you get what you deserve Yeah, I ain't taking a backseat I'm passing anybody else who is rapping I'm nasty, ain't nobody able to catch me They gasping, they cannot compare, they can't match me I'm at half speed, I got your girl and she laughing And dancing, hanging on my butt, she asking To crash with me, smash with me She's savage, she wants cash money And she knows that I live lavishly, uh I wanna live I'm cold inside Give all I have Just to feel alive I fight to live I fight to strive One day I'll have What I want I want the whole mind. world in the palm of my hand I got a plan, I'm the man Now I'm teaching the game A veteran better than Anybody else who tests me I'm ready, looking at my hand and it's steady I'm trending, ascending and blending Lyrical bending, now I'm spreading and getting my name out 
out now, yeah, they hearing me laugh All the crowds repping the sound, I'm hitting the ground Running up and coming, ain't nothing, yeah Rookie of the year, I'ma keep it 100 Cold-blooded, no budget from nothing to something I ain't bluffing, I got a full hand and a full plan I ain't gonna stop till I'm at the top, man Every single drop got me feeling awesome I'm about to pop, started from the bottom, yeah I wanna live, I'm cold inside Give all I have just to feel alive I fight to live, I fight to strive One day I'll have what I want in life Complications, I'm always facing You're so impatient, I'm too when it comes to waiting now Come on, let's move like this Wrinkled up my heart and you smooth that quick Everything you done, you'll never do like this Changing up your world, but you knew that shit, yeah Running with the world on my back Keep on chasing time, but it's hard to keep track I just wanna stop, tell the world, slow down Really wish I knew then what I know now When the world's so loud, it's really hard to be heard Million people race, it's really hard to be first Life's a good high, up to you to make it work And I'm sipping on this pretty thing, really got me turned And we keep getting fucked up On the low drunk ways, and we're fucked up But you come my way, and they hating how we live But we living every night like the last Speeding like we're never gonna crash in the fast lane Like they trying to catch up in your mad name, you ain't never catch us. And I'm riding on this wave, and I'm seeing where my life will go. Stop taking shots, and we know. keep getting fucked up on the low drunk ways. And we're fucked up, but you come my way. And they hating how we live, but we living every night like the last. Speeding like we're never gonna crash in the fast lane. Like they're trying to catch up in your mad name, you ain't never catch us. And I'm riding on this wave, and I'm seeing where my life will go. Stop taking shots, reload. Riding on a wave like this, yeah Riding on a wave like this, so oh, wait until it crash Really wanna save that kid, she really wanna save that kid So I hope that it lasts, changing the world with one chance Trying to change the world and I'm only one man Basing your whole life, succeeding with one plan And they got me like, damn, yeah Wake up in the morning, headache Hardly even slept, still taking no breaks Love drunk, chilling with my girl What you thinking? I'm trying to keep it real In a world so fake and I'm loving what I make No matter if you do too You're loving what I make, my people you're coming through I'm trying to make a whole world a part of my crew Girl you got me feeling turned The second that I'm with you And we keep getting fucked up On the love drunk ways and we're fucked up But you come my way and they hating how we live But we living every night like the last Speeding like we're never gonna crash in the fast lane Like they trying to catch up in your mad name, you ain't never catch us. And I'm riding on this wave, and I'm seeing where my life will go. Stop taking shots, and we know. keep getting fucked up on a love drunk ways. And we're fucked up, but you come my way. And they hating how we live, but we living every night like the last. Speeding like we're never gonna crash in the fast lane. Like they're trying to catch up in your mad name, you ain't never catch us. And I'm riding on this wave, and I'm seeing where my life will go. Stop taking shots, reload. Hum. Eu moro então, faz três mil. É a mais. Tá um pouco frio, né, porta? Fico assim aí, o que mais deu para one with a better contract always pays. Is that how it works, Sereto? Huh? The one with a high, better contract always pays, huh? Yeah. You? you want a piece? No. <laughs> See you, man. All the best. Okay, guys. Good luck. There you go. See ya. See you, man. Good luck in Jiva. Thank you. See you.
Santa Fe Seca. We are off to our different countries, wherever that may be. Okay, it's all checked in, and what I really like about SAL is that you get a bike for free. Um, you don't need to pay for bikes, that's pretty cool. Oh, breakfast time. Breakfast time. Health option. Sure, my four seats I don't open is better than business class, I guess. What do you think? Okay, so just through security check out, and uh, biggest thing is that you hope your bike arrives because without a bike, you're pretty much fucked in South Africa because you can't really send anything here without having to pay loads through customs. It's not like Europe. So you have to keep that in mind as well, which sucks a little bit. Um, but yeah, my bag should be arriving here. And uh, it was a direct flight, so normally, normally it shouldn't be a problem. But like I said, you never know, you never know. I wonder what the fuck this even means, priority baggage collection. Like, do the important people get to come here? And the less important people more left. It's pretty strange. Pretty fucking strange. I don't really know how dangerous this is. Yeah. Yeah. 